Hello everyone, this is Carlos from Herbie Showick Company. We are the manufacturer of high frequency vacuum wood jerking in China. For most of France, China is a far away country. During the period of COVID, there is still have a strict travel ban in China. So it's difficult to make a business trip in China right now. So many of my friends asked me to make a detailed video about uh, our vacuum kiln in my factories. Here we go. Let's start from our office first. This is our domic business department. We have many customers in China. They are making quality furniture and they use our vacuum kiln. This is our international department. We have exported many, many sites uh, vacuum kiln to many, many countries. And this is our purchasing department. This is our financing office. This is uh, Mr. Leo's office. Mr. Leo is our CEO. Please say hi to something to our YouTubers, Mr. Leo. Hi, good morning everyone. I'm Leo. Now I can only meet you on the internet. I love wooden furniture. I have them both in my home and in my office. Hopefully the virus will be over soon. We can talk about uh, the wood drawing killing face to face. Good luck, my friend. Yes, as you see, there are some traditional, typical Chinese redwood furniture. Those furnitures are made from our local customers which are using high frequency vacuum kiln. Today's leading rule is not Mr. Leo. Let's go to our workshop to see the vacuum oven, vacuum oven in my factories. Let's go. Now we are on the way from office to our factory. It will take about 30 minutes. Please have a look from the car window and let me make a short introduce about Shijiazhuang city. It's one of the capital cities in north of China. From my city to Beijing, only take one hour by high-speed train. Medical, technology, steel, textile are the main industries in my city. I live in my city more than 10 years. Welcome to visit us in Shijiazhuang. I will be a nice gather. Hello, friends. Now we are in one of the workshops in my factories. We have two size high frequency vacuum wood drill machine. In, in my workshop. This one is SW40 model. One side machine has uh, three main parts. This is vacuum cham chamber. This one is high frequency generator. And uh, this one is cooling tower. The capacity of vacuum chamber is 40 cubic meters. It can load in wood size in 8 meter long and 1.4 meter wide and the tall can be 1.3 meter. Another side is SW20 model. It belongs to one of the largest uh, capacity kiln. You can see it's super wide. And now I will introduce some details about the high frequency vacuum wood drill machine. Actually, high frequency vacuum kiln is not a new way of drying wood. It's become popular and economical for sawmills and uh, furniture manufacturers and so on. Now, what's, what's different with traditional drying, uh, which I'd like to say over here. First, uh, the drying methods are different. The traditional kiln and uh, other vacuum kiln is belong to heating transfer. The method is drying the wood from outside to the inside of the wood. But high frequency heating is kind of directly heating. 
from the you can see the difference from the staking. There's no any sticks or heating balance between two pieces of wood. It is deadly sticked. The principle is using white wood as a capacitor. After giving them voltage, water molecules will be friction and uh, polarization under the electricity field. It, uh, it heating the wood from inside to the outside of the wood. It's totally different heating way. I know there are some special design based on super thick wood blocks. So if you have such kiln, you will never worry about too difficult to dry it. It can make the inside and outside of the wood heated at the same time. So you never worry about a wood outside the dried, but still wet inside. This will never happen if you have such kiln. Let's open the vacuum chamber to see how it works and what looks like inside of it. Okay, here is the inside of the vacuum chamber. Let's look what we have inside. Uh, These are some spare parts are packaged well. We put it in the vacuum chamber for better transportation. On the two sides of the wall, there are cooling pipe. Cold water flowing through it. And you know, a vapor drained out from the wood will condensate on it and uh, drop on the floor and then suck it out by the vacuum pump. Mm. This is the timber cut. You know, it's, it, it is uh, really super white. The, it, you, can put, you can put the white wood uh, 2.4 meters wide and 8 meters long. When you finish the wood sticking on it, and the timber cut will be motor drive in the chamber. And, you, and then you close the door and uh, turn on the hydraulic system. This is the hydraulic system. It will press down on the wood sticking and uh, it can supply more than six tenths pressure on the wood staking to ensure wood is flat and straight. After you, after timber cut goes into the chamber, we close the door and start on the vacuum. Let's see what we have from this side. Uh, there are there are two meters. This one is hydraulic meter and it for setting the, the, the hydraulic pressure. Usually the range is, we setting it four to six. And this one is vacuum meter. Common sense, you can set in the vacuum based uh, on the wood species, thickness and uh, moisture content. Common sense, the deeper vacuum, the lower water boiling point. For most of wood, you can set the vacuum degree from 0, 0 0.6 to 0, 0 0.8. The vacuum environment boiling water around 40 degrees instead of 100 degrees. So because of that, temperature are much lower compared to traditional drying. Make a wood drying process under the vacuum condition. Uh, the, the advantage of vacuum is make wood dry by low temperature. It's, it's better for the wood. Think, think about it. In the closed uh, vacuum chamber, it's full of vapor. And the, the white vapor and, uh, will be like a sauna room. It will make the, the moisture content pathway open. It will be faster uh, suck out from the wood. Give you an idea about the drain time. We have some customers in America and Canada. For the three to four inch thickness walnut, it will from 
30% to 40% moisture content, it will take about 8 days to finish the drying process. It's very fast. Uh, cash flow is very important for wood, wood industry business. Think about it. If you have such kiln, you never need to wait months or years to get a uh, dried wood. So if, although time is money, but quality is life. Another point, another advantage of high frame cleansing and vacuum is make the wood is no cracks and uh, bending. Now we are standing in front of high frequency generator. After turn on the high voltage, wood will be heating and water start changing to vapor during this, pro this process. The high frequency generator function is convert electricity energy into microwaves. It, uh, pen it penetrates the wood at the oscillation frequency of 6.78 megahertz per second. The polar molecules in the wood are attracted and uh, oscillate repeatedly at the speed of 1678 million times per second, causing the molecules to oscillate and each with each other and uh, produce a lot of friction heat. So it is quickly heat the wood. Put it simply, high frequency generator is it heat the wood. Just a totally different way to heat the wood. You never need to heat the air first or heat the heating pellet first. High frequency is make the wood heated directly by itself. This one is a 50 kilowatt generator. It's also the brain of a high frequency vacuum machine. You see there are many buttons and we have, uh, we have PLC control and many relays inside of the generator. You, you can set in the temp temperature from here. You can adjust the minimum or, uh, and the maximum temperature uh, based on your wood species. The, gr the green one is setting temperature. The red one is uh, wood temperature. When the wood temperature reach to the setting temperature, it will power off automatic. And when the wood temperature drop down five degrees and setting temperature, it will power on automatic again. And there is uh, insulation layer inside of the vacuum chamber. And that is that design is uh, helping power saving for your drying process. We have many customers from Indonesia, Vietnam, for the mahogany, acacia, and teak, some, some typical wood in Northeast Asia. Start the setting temperature from 50 degree. After temperature reach to 50 degree, and then turn on vacuum. And then increase the setting temperature to 17 or 18 degree. For the 100 millimeter, 100 and 150 millimeter thickness hardwood, it takes 10 to 12 days to finish the whole drying process. Of course, we are talking fresh cut wood from a sawmill, no air drain time. All right, let's let's walk to the back of the vacuum chamber to see to see to see the back of the machine. Okay, here is the back of the vacuum chamber. You see there are lots of tanks and uh, pipings and valves over here. Let me introduce one by one. This one is vacuum pump. The function is suck the air out of the chamber. And uh, this tank is for collection. Water from the wood will be followed into this, this tank and uh, collect in this tank. After it is full, you can drain it out from here by manually or automatically. The stainless steel tank on the top, we named it uh, external condenser. It has two functions. The first function is supply water to this pump. As all we know, pump, the pump needs need to run by a certain temperature. 
the external condenser is cold water to protect the vacuum pump. Another function is uh, another function is uh, for the chamber. The the inside chamber temperature will be getting higher and higher, and the external condenser will dehumidification to cool to cool inside of chamber. This one is cooling tower. It is also very important. It belongs to the water circulation system. We, I just, uh, we just uh, see the cooling pipe inside the chamber. Inside the chamber. The cooling pipe falling through by cold water. The cold water will be getting warm and warm. So we need the cooling tower make the water getting cold again for better condens condensed state. It's a uh, full water circulation. Okay, that is all the details about our machine. Let's, let's go, go to the in front of the machine. This time we will go from another side so that you ha will have a full view about the, our machine. High eff efficiently, energy saving, and because it is running by electricity, so it is also eco-friendly. Okay, thanks for your watching. Which which this video is helpful to know, to, to let you know more, more about us. In the next video, we will show how to look how to load in the machine into the container. Welcome to follow our YouTube. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.